Tay-Sachs disease, or TSD for short, is a lysosomal storage disorder caused by a mutation in a gene on chromosome 15, which codes for a lysosomal enzyme called beta-hexosaminidase A, or HEX-A for short. This enzyme normally breaks down a lipid called GM2 ganglioside. GM2 is found mainly in neurons, so without HEX-A, it accumulates inside lysosomes. TSD is also known as GM2 gangliosidosis type 1. This results in progressive symptoms of central nervous system, or CNS, degeneration, like decreased muscle tone, visual difficulties, and seizures, which usually begin by 3 to 6 months of age, proceeding to death by age 4. TSD is an autosomal recessive genetic condition, so males and females are affected equally inheriting one mutated HEX-A gene from each asymptomatic or heterozygous parent in order to develop the homozygous condition. This also means that TSD tends to occur in isolated, inbred populations or communities, which accounts for the predominant occurrence of the disease in infants of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage and in certain French-Canadian, Amish, and Cajun populations. These mutations can result in either no synthesis or defective synthesis of HEX-A, resulting in either a total deficiency of HEX-A or varying degrees of enzyme activity depending on the specific mutation. So with some mutations, GM2 accumulates over a longer period of time, accounting for a more gradual onset of CNS symptoms in some people. Depending on age of onset, TSD can be infantile, with onset at 3-6 to six months, juvenile, with onset at 2 to 5 years, chronic, with onset in the first or second decade of life, and late onset, with the first indication of symptoms in the second to third decade of life. Common signs for the first three forms are signs of CNS degeneration, like decreased muscle tone, abnormally increased reflexes, seizures, and visual disturbances. For adult onset, there may be motor difficulties and some adults may manifest bipolar-type psychological symptoms. Ophthalmologists may be the first to consider TSD by finding a cherry red spot in the macula of the eye, which results from GM2 buildup in the retinal cells around the central macular area. Diagnosis of TSD is done by determining the activity of HEX-A in serum, leukocytes, tears, or any other body tissue. Genetic testing for HEX-A gene mutations and sequencing of the HEX-A gene are used for diagnosis and heterozygous carrier detection. There is no cure for TSD or its variants. Treatment for the infantile and juvenile form involves supportive care to manage symptoms. Usually, this involves many specialists, including neurologists to manage seizures, gastroenterologists, surgeons, and nutritionists to manage feeding as well as occupational and physical therapists to assist with the tasks of daily living and mobility. Management of symptoms in later onset forms is also primarily supportive, dealing with the slower but progressive nature of the degeneration in these related conditions. Enzyme replacement, or gene therapy, continue to be areas of research, but until they are in hand, genetic counseling for individuals at high risk can help preventing passing on the mutations associated with TSD. More specifically, couples at risk of having an affected child have options like amniocentesis and chorionic villa sampling, as well as artificial insemination, ovum donation, and in vitro fertilization to have children who don't have Tay-Sachs disease or related GM2 disorders. Alright, as a quick recap. Tay-Sachs disease is a lysosomal storage disease that results in a buildup of GM2 gangliocide in neurons of the central nervous system. This results in seizures, motor delay, low muscle tone, and rapid degeneration of the nervous system. Diagnosis is achieved through enzyme assays and DNA sequencing. There is no cure for Tay-Sachs disease, and treatment involves supportive therapy. Reproductive counseling, however, is available. 